So we are back with Blender. In Blender, we know that we can add geometrical figures like cubes, or spheres, or cylinders, and others. But there are very few basic shapes listed here. So, how do we create more complex objects? For example, how do we create a pyramid from this cube? We will see how to cut objects or how to modify them. But before that, let us first add few more objects here. We will also position them in distinct places. There are virtually unlimited possibilities that Blender opens up while editing an object. In this tutorial we will show you some basic steps to edit an object or join multiple objects. You can experiment it further to discover more. So, we have our default cube here. We will change it into a pyramid. Let us first scale it a bit in height by a factor of 2, and position it little up. Okay, now in order to edit this object's geometry, we need to go into the edit mode. For that, select the edit mode from this little drop-down option. The edit mode allows us to work with the edges and vertices of an object. First click anywhere outside the object to remove the selection. There are three selection modes. The first is to select vertices, then the edges and the third option is to select faces. Let us select the edge selection option. We have to select the four edges on the top. We can either select them one by one, by pressing the shift key and clicking on the edges. Or we can simply draw a rectangle selection box to include the edges that we want to select. With the edges selected, go down the Edit Toolbox on the left-hand side and select the Shrink Tool. Now you have to grab the yellow handle of the tool and slowly drag it down. We want the four vertices to meet at a single point. Perfect! Our pyramid is ready. We can achieve this result in many different ways, I just used one simple method. Now let us go back to the Object Mode. Let us focus on the sphere now. What if we want to cut it into half? We want to remove the upper half of the sphere and make a hemisphere. So, go to the edit mode again, then deselect everything. Change the selection mode to face selection. Now go to the top view by pressing number 7. Draw a rectangle to select the visible faces here. You can verify whether the selection is perfect. Finally, go to the mesh menu, then delete. And then select faces. The selected faces will be removed. And here is our nice, little, hemisphere. Now go back to the object mode. Let us take the cylinder this time. I will show you how to extrude an object. This is one of the very useful technique to create additional parts of an existing mesh. So, while in the edit mode, let us first select the top face. Then from the face menu, select extrude faces. The shortcut is E on your keyboard. Now move your mouse upward and finally left click at a distance to accept this new section. Press E again and extrude it little further. Perfect. Now hold your shift key down and draw some rectangular selection boxes to select all the faces that appear in the middle section of the cylinder. Once done, release the shift key in from the face menu. Sorry. Select extrude faces along normals. Now move your mouse upward or downward slowly, to extrude the faces inward or outward. Finally left click on the mouse to accept the changes. So back to our object mode, we can see this nice geometrical figure, fat in the middle. You can create anything in this way. Let me now show you how to join two objects. If we want to join this modified cylinder with the hemisphere, we have to first position them correctly. For accurate values, let us use the properties editor. We need to ensure that they are logically connected. So after positioning, let us scale up this hemisphere little bit. Then move it up and position it on top of the cylinder object. Although it is not a requirement, but if you want to join two separate pieces to make one single object, they should look real together. Now press the shift key and select both of them. Then from the object menu, select join. Blender will connect them and make one single object. If you now move this object, it will move with all the pieces together. It is indeed a new object with new geometry. We can join two objects even more creatively by using Boolean modifiers. We will look into that in some future tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you soon.